Welcome to R Squared Academy. In this demo, I will show you how to launch the Shiny app from the Descript R package. I assume that you have installed the package and loaded it into the current R session. You can launch the app in your browser using launch underscore Descript R function. The app takes a few seconds to load. You can explore the app with sampled datasets or read data from external files. In this demo, I will show you how to read data from external files. Click on the Upload File button. You can read data from different files like delimited files, Excel spreadsheets, JSON, and files from commercial softwares. You can upload multiple files and choose to analyze data from any one of them. Let us upload different files into the app. Go to the bottom right of the page, and click on the Data Selection tab. From the drop-down box, select the data set you want to analyze, and click on the Submit button. You will be taken to the Data Transformation tab. Here you can see three columns. The first column displays the names of the variables in the data set. Scroll down and inspect that all the variables present in the file are displayed here. The second column allows you to rename variables. Let us rename some of the variables. The third column allows you to specify the data type of the variables. You can choose from numeric, integer, factor, character and date. Let us change the data types. Once you have modified the variables, scroll down and click on the Apply Changes button. The next step is to select variables you want to analyze. If you want to use all the variables in the data set, click on the No button, and you will be taken to the Filter tab. If you want to select variables, click on the Yes button. Remove the variables you do not need, and click on the Submit button. You will now be taken to the Filter tab. If you do not want to filter data, click on the No button, and you will be taken to the Data Screening tab. If you want to filter the data, click on the Yes button. Select a variable from the Filter drop-down box. Then select an operator. Next specify the value, based on which to filter the data. And click on the Filter button. You can repeat the steps to filter multiple times. Now click on the Screen Data button, at the bottom right of the page. In the Screen tab, you will see a table with five columns. The first column displays the variable name. You can see the variable names, as modified in the Transform tab. The second column displays the data types. The third column displays levels of the factor variables. Inspect this column to ensure that all the levels in a variable are present. The last two columns display the number and percent of missing values in each variable. You can also see the overall missing values, as well as the number of rows and columns in the data, with at least one missing value. Once you have screened your data, click on the Approve button. It will regenerate the data with all the changes implemented. In the Analyze tab, you can generate descriptive statistics or visually explore statistical distributions. Click on the button against Descriptive Statistics to start exploring your data. You can always click on the Help button to view the documentation and the Demo button to view a demo video. To learn more about the package, visit our website. Thank you.